Hello everybody, and welcome to Out There, 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 there. Omega Edition. Uh, this is a game I uh, I saw a couple of other YouTubers playing it, and it seemed really hard but really interesting. Um, I don't have my face cam on for this one purely because I'm sitting in my lounge room. Uh, there's shit everywhere. Got my computer out, but I thought, you know, what? I want to start making videos again. I've been flat stick. I do apologise for that. I've been getting a lot of shit sorted in life, but uh, videos are going to resume. Uh, with myself and Becca and a lot of collabs very, very, very soon. Um, also, we didn't do anything for our 100 subscriber special. We have 122 of you beautiful people out there. Uh, and judging by the view counts on our various videos, I, I know you guys are there. I know you're watching. So for all of you watching this video, thank you so much. Um, I really do appreciate uh, everything you do. Now, I'm rambling at this point, so let's get into this, and you'll pick up the game as we go along. New game. 22nd century. Mankind desperately seeks resources beyond its exhausted planet. I don't know why I'm American now. So far, we haven't even reached the... It sounds like... <laughs> it sounds like I'm doing one of those space documentaries. With the lady speaking over the top of everything. So far, we haven't even reached the limits of our solar system. I'm an astronaut, a bod, a bod, aboard <laughs> the Nomad. I can't keep that up. I'm an astronaut aboard the Nomad, passenger on a line that connects Earth to Ganymede, a moon of Jupiter. Until something happened. When I awoke from cryonics, I wasn't in orbit around Ganymede. In fact, I wasn't even in the solar system anymore. I was... OUT THERE! Omega Edition. So, I believe this game... Uh, I won't do the tutorial because I have seen people play it. Um, I believe this game was originally a tablet-based game, if I'm correct. Uh, basically, it was an app. Um, I could be wrong. If I am wrong, please let me know. But the premise of the game is that's where we have to get to. And by jumping to these different solar systems, we have to eventually work our way there. Now, this is me. Um, this is the space station. Um, I can enter its orbit. I'm... Not sure if that's smart or not. Uh, let's do it, because every time I enter an orbit, it uses fuel and it uses oxygen. Now, that was stupid, because I actually cannot do anything here. What a dumbass. Okay, but you get the premise. So, we go to our ship. Okay. Without making it too complicated, it's based off... Well, it's based off science. You can't say it's based off science. These are the technologies aboard my ship. This one is a drill. It allows me to drill for different various elements, construction elements, supply elements. Uh, this is the hydrogen probe. Uh, same thing. This is the telescope. It allows me to see solar systems, I believe. Space folder. Um, yeah. They all do different things. You get the premise. Um, I'm not going to spend the entire time explaining it because if you're watching this video, you probably know what the game's about anyway. Now, every time I do things, my hull will go down. I use iron here and see it's full at the moment but I drag it over there and it will go and it will fill it up again and repair my ship uh, as we will now see with oxygen I've used a little bit of oxygen getting into the pointless space station so I take my oxygen I drag it over to here goes back up and it uses my oxygen this is the uh, maximum my cargo can hold and we can encounter other ships as we go along uh, these are the specs on my ships, obviously. It all goes without saying. Uh, we go out. This is the solar system I'm currently in. We go further out, and we can jump to any of the solar systems within the foreseeable vicinity. We can go to a yellow dwarf solar system, or another yellow dwarf. Well, they're both the same distance away, so we'll just go over to this one. And also, random events occur, from what I know. Zoom! I don't think it does that every time. So, here is a white plastic sphere 
it has a strange symbol resembling a blackbird with its wings spread out. The sphere floats in space and is a lot similar than and and it is a lot similar than my ship. Okay, strange. Good grammar. It has an opening. But is it securely shut? I wonder what's inside. See, these are the random events which I just mentioned. Throw a gaseous throw it into a gaseous planet. Um I don't really know where to go, so I'm just going to pull it towards the star. I mean, caution to the wind, yo. Let's see if it can withstand the heat. With a cable, I tie it to my ship and pull it to the star. It falls into the burning sun. The temperature is intense, but the severe holds it tight. It disappears on the bright, burning surface. I doubt that I will find it again. I just hope that there was nothing alive inside. Okay, so I made the wrong decision. It used my fuel. Uh, that was stupid of me. I probably should have done something else. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, um, there could have been a creature in there that would give me a technology and teach me a new language. The game is actually very intricate from what I've seen. But gas giants tend to give you f fuel to run your ship, I believe, when you drill into them. And rocky planets will give me... Uh, various minerals and metals in order to get new technology, or well, not get new technologies, but apply technologies I discover to my ship and build them. So, I know I've thrown a lot of information at you guys all at once. Um, hopefully you're still following, uh, or hopefully you already know the premise of the game and I haven't bored you to death. So, let's just get on with it and see how far we can get, because from what I have seen, this is a very, very... Uh, intricate game. Now, the red will damage my drill, yellow will damage it a little bit, green is the safest drilling, but I believe seven gives you the maximum sort of best bang for buck. Oh, that is a beautiful haul right there. Uh, reason being, uh, my ship actually, um, as we can see, my ship runs off both uh, helium and hydrogen. Uh, that doesn't mean I have to put both in there to fuel up. It just means, as we will see, I can use either or to power my ship. Now, when you come across other ships, di different things will power them. Uh, but, um, yeah, right now, that's a good haul to start the game off with. I'm saving my helium because helium, I believe, gives you a better return uh, for fuel than hydrogen does, from what I've seen. Um... So yeah, helium I, I will hold on to. I could have gone in for a second drill there. Uh, a lot of people do say to do a second drill. Um, I, From what I've seen, it's not really worth it. I'll do a safe second drill with just four. Okay, well, because there was helium, that probably was worth it, realistically. I believe if there's helium, I might do a second drill, but otherwise I probably won't, unless I'm in dire need for uh, parts or something. Um, so anyway, let's go to the rocky planet. We've got the fuel. We can afford to drill there. It uses fuel every time you drill as well. Okay, drill. Bump it back up to seven. Oh, that is a good haul of iron. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm liking that. Uh, okay, I'll repair my hull a little bit with that. Yeah, that's actually a lot of iron. I probably don't need that much. I'll do that to free up some space. But uh, that is a lot, a lot of iron. So we'll take off. And we'll head back out to the solar system. And we go the other yellow dwarf. A yellow dwarf. A red dwarf. Let's go to a red dwarf. Okay. As soon as my ship warps into the star system, ten huge flame trails lash and bounce across my hull. Comets! A huge field of them, and travelling here at great speed, tearing at the darkness of the cosmos with shiny blue and gold hues fluttering in the gravitational waves. Oh, it's all so intense. Try to catch them, ignore, or mine the comets. Um, well, I'm going to mine the comets. It's probably maybe one of the more dangerous ways to go, I'm guessing. But if I mine the comets, I do have actually a lot of iron and a lot of fuel to repair my ship and get me out of it. So I reckon it's well worth the risk. 
I go full throttle to catch up with the comets once on the synchronous trajectory. I use the drill to gather water and oxygen. Oh, and we got some thorium. Beautiful. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. Uh, oxygen, obviously, I need. I lost some fuel, but I got uh, thorium, which, you know... Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Now I'm going to fuel up quickly. 77. Uh, I might as well just chuck a bit in there. Okay, now what do we got? Rocky planet, rocky planet, gas giant, gas giant. I'll go to the furthest. Like in the beanbag races at school, you always go for the furthest one first. Uh, bump you back up to 7. Oh, that's disappointing, but uh, never matter, never matter. Let's go back here. We'll go here. That's a that's a bit better. That's more like what I'd like to see. Okay, finish. Actually, I'll fill up on fuel. It's all about freeing up space in your cargo hold. That's that's pretty much one of the biggest things. I'm trying to get the bang for your buck. I Actually, I'll hold on to that. Oh, no, no, there's no point. Okay, there we go. We're at 100 for everything. So now we can safely go and drill. This is actually a very good start to a game. I haven't seen m many other people ever start this good. There's a shining peak far away. That's ice! But my journey fades quickly. It's highly radioactive. I understand this is the remain of the atmosphere of a ship crashed here. I dig a little bit without any result, but for a weird module. Hmm, maybe my trek here will have some benefits. Oh, a new technology, gravitational well generator. Oh, we'll have to see what that does. Uh, but let's drill first. Oh, okay. Now, this is good. Uh, I, I've got two stacks of 20 iron. I would like to hold on to that, but I don't know if I have to. Hafnium, I believe that comes in handy. The tungsten, not so much. Is that tungsten? Yeah, it's tungsten. I don't believe it comes in handy as much. Um, thorium. Thorium might come in handy. I... I know platinum does. Shit, I should have put that in the fuel tank. See, these are the decisions we come across. I am going to sacrifice this purely for that. Because I'd rather hold on to a stack of 20 iron and platinum than that. And I've got plenty of fuel between here, so I don't think that should be a problem. Now we'll take off, confirm, uh, go back to the ship. Uh, now what we'll do is we shall chuck in the, as much of that as we can. Uh, and we'll look at what new technology... Oh, we can't really look at what technologies we can create. Yes, we can. Uh, okay. Interplanetary reactor. Do we already have one of those? Yeah, we do. Okay. So what don't we have built? Alright, so uh, we need... What's that? Copper? For the gravitational well generator. This module upgrades the space folder by virtually increasing the mass of the destination star system. Thus, the ship can make jumps to more distant systems. I like that. That would be good because it allows us to pretty much reach our end goals a, a, a lot quicker. Um, I would like that. So, we need iron and thorium for that. Do we need the... We don't need the hafnium for anything just yet um, and none of our technologies have failed I would like the cryonics what does the cryonics do though this device places in cryostasis during long jumps such as the true okay I believe cryonics preserves your oxygen your life support system so okay well that's okay we we can't apply any new technologies because we don't have the room but um, yeah, I don't really need anything from that other planet, so we might just do another jump. Uh, so you can decide which path to go. There's not going to be much down there, so I would rather go this way. I might hit up that black hole. 
Now, if you have Omega, you can make jumps through black holes. We do not. So we're going to hit up this red dwarf. Boop. I think there's a way to turn that off. I'm sorry, I'll do that in the next video. There is a huge metal cube here floating in space in its center. Oh, my apologies. In its center, I see a square-shaped opening with these words written above. Sarls Mamaba Tamgaka Ongdabaga. The opening glows bright, not unlike a hellish furnace. hellish furnace well is the game that obvious should we leave I'm going to say it's not that obvious and throw caution to the wind I fly my ship inside and amazing millions of robotic arms approach and start working on the structure of my ship moments later the arms eject me from the strange space factory I check the hull it's as good as new even though it already was but that's okay who am I to judge? Okay, let's enter the orbit of this gassy giant. Prob. Boop. Oh, that's a good return. Good return for some helium. Um. Now, I do... Oh, I can put the oxygen. I was going to do something to free up space, but... That's okay. I'll go back to my ship and I'll put the oxygen in to free up some space. Uh, chuck the hydrogen in. I'm saving my helium because it. I guarantee you it will come in a lot, a lot handier, a lot handier, a lot more handy. Uh, they're both just rocky planets, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll visit those anyway. Um, now that we've used up that. I can do that to free up some more space. Um, and one quick thing. What did we need to make the gravity? Okay, copper. We're on the lookout for copper and possibly silicon if we want to make the cryonics, so... Copper and silicon. Come to daddy! Ah. Oh. You know what? I don't really want these things, but... I'll take the tungsten anyway. I mean... Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, that was that, that was a little bit of a disappointing haul there. Um, I might just pop this in there. Um, yeah, I need. I actually need oxygen. Shit, I need to find a garden planet. Garden planets basically refill your oxygen entirely. I don't really know. I'm on 82. I'm sure there's people watching this going, "You're on 82. You've had the best start ever. Just run with it." But. I err on the side of caution. Nah, alright. Well, we've got plenty of tungsten. Yeah, not, not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I suppose there, there have been, been worse, worse starts to the game. But uh, we've mined pretty much everything there. Uh, I'm going to end this episode here. So, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, click that like button and uh, I'll see you all in the next part. Bye!